today we're here for our poster session and so it's like really exciting because we've all been working on our research for the past nine weeks and so we're all getting to present to each other and to our faculty. We had research from every background going from biochemistry, chemistry to engineering or economic. I think one of the huge things for me, being in such a diverse group of people. It's a very small community uh, and family becomes at some point. I think that the summer for me has given me the confidence to research and it's given me the confidence to apply to the big schools and to kind of give myself a shot. The research project that I'm doing is how we can incentivize research and development in Canada. The first part of the project, we created a calculator and we can tell a corporation how much they're actually spending on research and development. In the second half, we're looking at the grant funding programs. Are they looking into women entrepreneurship? Do they want SMEs, small and medium-sized entrepreneurs? A lack of information and a lack of resources is a huge barrier for a lot of people coming into academia. And so I'm really excited to be a professor as a woman of color, providing those resources, especially to women and especially to people of color and minoritized groups. Before this summer, I hadn't really had a, a large robotics project and it really opened my eyes to like different tips and tricks in the robotics design process. My research project was building a reduced scale version of a mantis bot. It's supposed to be used to test algorithms so we don't have to worry about the safety of a user during the testing. I was responsible for designing and machining a two degree of freedom limb. Seeing my design come to life was really fun. What I loved about MSRP was that even though I was doing research in one lab, I could find out about research in another lab and just have my interests just grow. And my project focused on creating an amplification system for Crohn's disease. MPO is an enzyme that's a biomarker and it's found in your fecal matter. It's hard to detect super low concentrations with the existing technology for diagnosis. So my project was to develop a system that would be able to amplify that signal so that you can di diagnose the disease earlier. That's kind of been my theme for the summer that you have to keep you have to keep trying, you have to keep persevering. And one of the reasons I do want to go on to become a professor uh, so that we can provide that representation for aspiring young black engineers. I just feel changed. <laughs> Enlightened. I feel kind of cool. Uh, yeah, and I didn't before. I think this has given me like a huge boost in confidence. I always considered myself a very perseverant person, but until I have seen my experiment fail so many times, I think like that has made me even more perseverant than before. It, my pathway, it's one of many instead of, uh, of me feeling like I'm fighting for myself. I learned like what it means to be me and what it means to be Latina. I feel powerful. I feel like I can accomplish my dreams. <laughs>